Good morning, evening, or afternoon, everybody. It's Kago coming at you with another video. So today, I'm going to be showing you how to fish the max level pools, the farm I'm going with, and the general setup for this experiment, just to sort of show you how people are getting these journeyman bags, what it takes, what they are doing. Um, I think it's really fun. It's just something to do it for fun. I really think the iron chunk pools are definitely better, more consistent, and incredibly more safe than doing this. But this exists, so I figured I would give it a whirl and show you what we can do. But before we get into the video, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Everything you guys do helps my channel grow, helps me get discovered, and helps me help as many people as possible, which is the entire point of my channel. So without further ado, let's get into the video. So we are here in Tenaris at Steam Weedle Port. We are going, the path we are going to take is just all the way down the coast. Here we have pirates to dodge. There could be fishing right here. And down at the South Island, I believe the turtles are neutral. But we'll actually have to see what they are. Because I don't actually know off the top of my head. But the setup we are going to need for this is our big iron fishing pole. I finally got it today. I opened almost 500 cages. So I got completely screwed by RNG. But we did get the big iron fishing pole, so that's plus 20. We have these aqua dynamic attractors for plus 100. And then we have this, uh, we have fishing plus 2 on our gloves. So that is the max fishing you can do without STV events. And we have a stone scale eel swarm pool right here. Now the stone scale eels are the least valuable at this current phase. Next phase they will increase a lot in value. But we will uh, have to sort of see with that i didn't have my uh loot appraiser running there so we'll be plus one stone scale ale and a little bit of time i'll give or take in this little hour of experimenting that we're going to be doing but this is sort of it this is what you go as you saw we had a successful cast and the big thing that we're going to be looking for are mithril bound chunks which have a chance to come from every pool so as you can see we have total fishing level of 150 plus 122 so we're almost at 300 fishing we're at 273 so it's not a hundred percent chance but it is a very likely chance to get these pools now as you can see we even have some competition here with that other druid but being a druid makes this a lot faster because you can just go aquatic and swim down the coast but we're going to do this we're going to get this farm going and i will let you know after what we have then i'll open all the chests so i will see when we get there Voop. Alrighty, guys so we swimmed all the way to lights and beach i paused the timer just for this science experiment and it does turn out these turtles are hostile and we have a new path to go but essentially a steam waddle port all the way down here uh, along the coast with the pirates you can do and then there are some fishing pools you can hit right here. But soon after, like this cove right here, it becomes turtles and giants along this coastline. And then all the way down here, there are turtles and giants. So I would not come down here. Just would simply go throughout this little port, swim around the pirates, come back right about here, and go to here. And then go back up the coast. So anyway, I'm going to die because the graveyard in this area is in Tenaris, so you guys can see all these fun level 50 turtles try to take me down. We died, but anyway, I will get back to fishing and just wanted to give you guys a quick little update, but we have gotten two mithril bound chunks, so it's looking pretty good, but I'll see you at the end. Voop. Alrighty guys, so we hit our one hour mark of fishing here in Tenaris, and I am excited to show you the results. As you can see, the map's kind of filled out. You can see exactly what we did. We stopped right here and then just swam all the way back. And in that time, we were able to get 11 mithril bound trunks, 5 oily blackmouths, 11 stone scale eels, 19 strangle kelp, 11 firefin snappers, 2 rumsy rum black ale, um, and then I herbed this 18 shangle kelp and two elemental water, so we're not going to include that in the fishing video, but I just herbed it because it was there while I was swimming along the coast. But here we go. So this first one, we got two rune leather, bolt of rune cloth, and bolt of mage weave. 
All right, we're back. You guys asked me to do something that I forgot about, but we will open the trunks and not have auto loot so you guys can see what we get each time. So right here, silver and a monstrous war axe of strength. Level 37 axe. That might be good towards cap, but it is great now for one gold and 56 silver. Just raw money right there. Then this one, just silver. That kind of sucks. Right here, this is a big one. We got silver, rugged leather, three bolts of mage weave, two bolts of rune cloth. Next one here, we got silver, we got thick leather, rugged leather, three bolts of mage weave, and two superior healing potions. Now, these healing potions don't vendor for much, so I'm going to keep these for next phase. Then we got one silver, 89 copper, and four thick leather. Then we got right here a superior healing potion, rugged leather, and a bolt of rune cloth. We got one silver, 35 copper, three thick leather, three bolts of mage weave cloth. We got absolutely nothing. We got one silver, two thick leather, and bam, final one, one silver, two bolts of mage weave, and some bolts of rune cloth. So that is it for the farm. Uh, to sort of break it down, what I'm going to do with everything. Uh, we vendor rugged leather. Thick leather we can save probably for next phase. Um, we're definitely going to sell these bolts of rune cloth for one gold. Um, just because rune cloth will be few and far between and we will get a ton next phase when we're fishing. So I think the one gold is more valuable. This monstrous war axe would be good for leveling for sure. That is just a stupid amount of strength and damage. But I'm going to sell it right now because I don't have a warrior. So it's not going to be too crazy because that's another gold. Then the bolts of mage weave I am keeping for next phase. But we could sell these for one gold and 25 silver at so one gold and 50 if we wanted to stone scale eels these are definitely a keep for next phase because these will be used for a lot of potions then so we're definitely going to keep them for that and then the fire fin snappers and oily black mouths we are going to use alchemy for those and we are going to alk them into the oils to make faps and elixirs of fire power so that is what we're going to do with all the stuff. Uh, the Rumsey Rum, you can use it if you're a tank, or you can just sell it on the AH. It sells for decent as well. But anyway, this is sort of me practicing what I preach. What I showed you guys was methods, and I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any comments, questions, anything, drop it down below. I will do my best to answer them. But I'm going to go film the other locations, and I will see you later. Have a great day. Bye bye if you made it to the end of this video, thank you so, so much for watching. It truly means a lot to me. If you happen to find anyone that you know would also benefit from watching this video, please, please, please share it with them. It helps me out a ton and allows me to keep doing what I love every single day. And that is gaming and sort of helping people any way that I can. So finally, thank you so much. And I hope you have a fantastic day. Goodbye.